Hey, I just got here to Discovery Park again. Um, I was at the mental hole this morning. I seen two hooked up there. Uh, I couldn't tell what the other one was, but I know one was like 19 pounds. Uh, as I as I got here, some dudes just came out with like two of them. So I know they're pulling some out of here too. So I don't I didn't ask him how big it was, but I saw two of them in his bucket. <laughs> so. Hopefully I can catch one because uh, I got to go back to work tomorrow and uh, I'm definitely not excited about that at all But whatever, you know, it's fine But uh, yeah, hopefully we can hook up man. Let's see if there's anybody down here But I'm most likely going to be fishing by myself on the right side I don't know if I really want to walk all the way to the water tower Plus it's kind of sunny over there. So I don't know if I really want to do all that But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated man. We'll see how, how things go. All right, wish me luck. You see the blood right there? blood right there and there's a fresh gill right here right on the rocks right there so that's how you know they just caught it right here they just caught it <laughs> so i'm gonna just try right here fish on fish on shout out to connected fishing hey my man hooked on right here live if y'all can see him Anyways, guys, that's just a quick little report of some of the fish I've seen being caught this week. Um, I've noticed a new pattern. I've noticed there for every 15 to 20 angler each morning, two to three of them are really lucky. So we got first class gold, silver, and bronze. <laughs> but seriously, guys, yes, I usually see about three, two to three being hooked up every morning. Uh, prime time is 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. So if I were you, I'd be prepared and get your stuff all rigged up beforehand. Before you hit the water, download the parking app. If you're going to be going to Sand Cove, Discovery, or Miller Park, download that app and pay for your parking ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to uh, deal with the crowd when you get there. Because I've seen people uh, crowded up and then I've seen people <laughs> freaking uh, uh, tying their lines and lures when they get there. I'm like, dude, do that at home the night before. This is why you guys aren't catching them because you're, you're doing everything on the fly. Like, you got to think in advance. Like, uh, when it comes to salmon, it's all strategic, guys. And, it's a, and, and 50, 60% of it is luck as well. But like I said, prime time is 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Before the boats get out there, when the water's all cool and the... And the waters aren't all choppy from the boat and everything. And it's all calm and it's cool without the sun hitting it. Once it hits 9, 10 o'clock, your chances are super slim. I'm not saying they're not going to bite. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's cool, they're going to bite all day. But I'm telling you guys, 
that's the prime time. That's when you want to be out there. And then also in the evening as well. I've seen I've seen two caught in the evening this week. You know what I'm saying? From uh, 6 p.m. to 7 uh, 7 p.m. Uh, as well. So you know, right now it's dawn or dusk. You got to pick one. Whatever one you you can make it out there. Go out there and try for an hour. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, they're definitely all over the system right now. And if you haven't caught one yet, man, you got like three solid weeks to catch a clean fish. After that, the fish is going to be all all disgusting looking and everything. You, you won't want to eat them by then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, keep on trying, guys. Um, don't give up. You know what I mean? Do some good deeds around the house and for society. You know what I'm saying? The world's in a weird place right now. Do some good deeds and... Uh, you know what I mean? Get your karma, get your spirit cleansed. <laughs> do what you gotta do, but you know what I mean? But yeah, there's a quick little report for you guys. Peace out.